Troy from Zia Comics here again with another edition of Dude Food. I'm going to make some food that uh, any dude like me can make. So I have been a Kevin Smith stan for ever since I saw Clerks. So it was kind of a no brainer for me to want to try the Gold Belly movies. Uh, they've had movies pop up restaurants here and there. I've always seemed to miss them. I got to see the one in San Diego, but it was closed and I went out and didn't get to go in and sample the food. So I saw this online where you could buy it. They deliver it to your house and you can make your very own cow tipper meal with fries uh, and chocolate covered pretzels. So without further ado, let's get to cooking. contents of the box are supposed to be enough in here to make six cow tipper meals so of course you got the patties they're double deckers so there's six patties uh six double decker patties there there are enough french fries for six gotta have a cheese on your cheeseburger gotta have pickles gotta have the pickles you got your secret sauce, the movie secret sauce. We have an onion. We have, for dessert, we have the chocolate covered pretzels. We also, it also comes with all this stuff. We have cups. We have some stickers. We have <laughs> large fry holders branded for movies. We have some small fry holders that are not branded, if you don't want a, a large order. Of course, purple, purple napkins. We got some mustard, you gotta have mustard. And we have some, uh, some wrappers there for the burgers. So you can wrap the burger up just like you bought it at the store. There's some ads in here from Gold Belly. And a little, you know, a little information about Gold belly. There's also, if you look real close and lift up the two flaps in here, there is a QR code that gives you instructions on how to store and prep your movie's meal. So you're gonna preheat your oven to 425. I've got that heating up in the background and we're going to uh, bake the fries instead of deep fry them. So I'm just going to make all of them because I love fries. I'm going to spread them out here on the sheet. And I put some aluminum foil on there so it doesn't stick to the, the sheet. Because then you, if it sticks to the sheet, you'll be saying, oh, sheet. Because it'll be hard to clean. Okay, I got those spread out pretty well. Pretty well. We're going to hose them down with a little bit of Pam cooking oil because we don't want them to stick. So as soon as the oven hits 425, it'll bing and we'll be putting these babies in the oven. Okay, our oven is now heated to 425. We're gonna put the fries in for about 20 to 25 minutes like it says. I like to split the difference. We're gonna do 22 minutes. I like my fries crispy. So cooking time, 22. And we're off. Preheat the high. And we are going to season them with a little, little salt, a little pepper. And at two minutes, we are going to flip it. Okay, it's been about two minutes. So we're going to go ahead and flip the patties. We're going to season this side also. A little salt, a little pepper. Now there's a little bit of grease content, fat content in here. So I had to turn on the exhaust fan as the humming you hear. 
because we don't want to stink up the whole house. Now the buns did come as part of it. I think I didn't put it when I did the inventory. I think they were sitting off to the side. But the buns do come with this kit. So we're gonna let that heat up. All right, that butter's getting warmed up there. We're just gonna put the buns in and kind of toast them with that butter. Okay, it doesn't take much. You can check the buns. You can see they're toasted, so we're gonna go ahead and pop those out. Okay, it looks like the patties are done. So turn this off. Put one on the bottom. And one on the top button. First step, we're gonna do a little prep. We're gonna dice our onion. I'm gonna uh, cut it in half. If you're really good, you can uh, probably do this all by hand. But I have a slap chop, and I'm going to use it just mostly because I like saying slap chop. But uh, we're going to dice this onion up to put onto our cow tippers. All right, we are in New Mexico, and we put green chili on everything, so this is not going to be any exception. We'll pull out a uh, roasted green chili here, and we're going to. Skin it and dice it up. Pull the skin off because these chilies, when they come, they have the big skin on them and they throw them in a big tumbler roaster, which is why you see the, uh, it looks like burns. It, it kind of is burns. They, they burn the skin off of them. So we're going to clean it and dice it up. And Typically, it's the seeds that make it really hot, so we're going to try to remove as many of the seeds as we can because we want the flavor and not the heat, if we can help it. It's pretty simple to do. The, the seeds are not that bad. And if you get a few in there, it's not going to kill you. And if you're anywhere, anywhere in New Mexico, that's the, um, that's actually the state motto, red or green. You want red chili or green chili? Because it's just a foregone conclusion. You're going to have some kind of chili in your food. They put it in everything from beer to ice cream. You name it, it's got chili in it. Cut all this burn part off. Just going to line these babies up. Hmm. I'm sure Gordon Ramsay would probably yell at me for doing it this way, but I am nowhere near being a master chef. So like most guys, I'm sure we want this green chili diced up. My knife's pretty sharp, so I don't have to worry too much. There you go. So we're going to put this in a bowl. Throw away the skins and seeds. For the top bun, we're going to put some of the movie's secret sauce on that top bun. I'm not sure if it's like McDonald's. I don't know if it's going to be Thousand Island or not. We're going to take a slice of the movie's cheese. mustard. They gave us a little mustard ketchup packet or mustard packets. I'm going to opt for the squeezed mustard because it's so much easier. A couple pickles, some diced onions, spread that around a little bit. I like my onion. A little green chili because this is New Mexico. 
and then we put this together. All right, the fries are done. The instructions say to put them in a bowl, shake them with some salt, so that is what we are going to do. Yeah. It's like the fries at the bottom of the McDonald's bag. They don't count. There we go. Ah, so let's get some salt. We're going to be liberal with the salt. Shake them. We're going to fill up our movie's fry container because why not? We have it. Let's use it. Okay. Look at that. You got the movie's branded cup. We got the cow tipper, the movie fries, and some chocolate covered pretzels. And I smelled them and I don't think anybody stink palmed them, so they should be good. We all know looks can be deceiving, so let's let's give the taste test. Fries aren't bad; they're they're still a little kind of soggy. They they were kind of waterlogged when we got them from being frozen, but not bad. We're gonna go dessert first. Chocolate covered pretzels, really really good. That was the uh, the centerpiece of the whole meal. The cow tipper. Look at that big messy burger. The messier the better. So, let's see if I can open my mouth wide enough. Mm. The sauce is really good. I'm glad I added green chili to it. The burger's not bad. All in all, it's a pretty good meal. It's a little pricey. Uh, for six, you know, six meals, it's uh, six burgers, six fries, and all the fixes to, enough to make six. With shipping, it was a little over a hundred. So I mean, divide that by six, you're paying, you're paying a, a McDonald's prices there to make it yourself at home. I mean, the taste is good. It's just a little cost prohibitive for most people. But I'm, I'm not upset that I did it. I, I wanted to try it. So that was another edition of Dude Food. Uh, you can watch other cooking stuff. We're gonna start doing some more for you guys. And until you see that next one, later nerds.